Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok, Covent Garden. Welcome back to Wok Wednesdays, and this is a real Wok Wednesday. We're doing everything in the Wok today. It's a dish from uh, Ready Steady Cook that I cooked. I had no idea what I was doing, so I thought I'd actually try and create the recipe properly. And it is a hoisin sauce made out of strawberry jam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ding, click that notification, notification bell. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up some red onion. And this is to go into my stir fry later on. The half a red onion should do the job. And that's going to go at 12 o'clock on my wok clock of ingredients. Some ginger and garlic. You can be quite rough and ready with this. I'm just going to take that piece of ginger in half and give it a bash and leave it like that. We've got three cloves of garlic here. You also want to bash and just peel. And then a very rough chop over the top, like so. And that can go alongside your ginger. So I've got my onions, my ginger, my garlic all prepped and ready. I'm just going to slice a couple of things for my sauce ready to go as well. I've got a couple of tomatoes here that I'm just going to open up. Now, the reason why this work is that tomatoes have this essentially natural MSG in it. So that natural savory flavor that will come out of the tomatoes. With my mandarins here, you can use oranges, mandarins, clementines, anything like that. I'm just gonna cut these in half so I can squeeze the juice into this. Now classically this dish would with the beans, you deep fry the green beans. But I'm gonna blanch these, just to keep it a bit healthier. I'm gonna blanch that, boiling water, for about three minutes. Meanwhile, I can carry on with the sauce. And the first thing I'm gonna do is try and squeeze as much of that juice out of the tomatoes as possible. So we want to now start to sort of create this fake hoisin. I'm going to squeeze my orange juice in first. I've got juice of a couple of good sized mandarins here, which I think is plenty. So you're going to give that a stir. So we're now starting to create this sort of sweetness and the, the stickiness of hoisin sauce. That's going to come from a couple of tablespoons of strawberry jam, which is definitely sweet. And at the moment, it's still quite sort of overly red in colour. And we've mainly got sweet and sour flavour from the orange and the jam. What we didn't have in Ready Steady Cook Studio was miso paste. I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of miso paste. And this will just help to thicken it up and add that sort of nice, base, salty, savoury flavour to the sauce. Next up, to continue on the salty line, we're going to put a couple of tablespoons of light soy into the sauce. Starting to deepen that colour now, but still not quite the, the hoisin colour that we know. And so we're going to really deepen that colour with some dark soy. And this is a much thinner version of the hoisin sauce that you would buy in a shop. But I don't mind that because it's going to hit the wok and it's going to caramelise very, very quickly, especially with that strawberry jam in there. Yes, we're there. And when that mix really nicely with the garlic, the ginger, that's going to make a really cool alternative to a hoisin sauce. From here on in, what I will do is I'll take some of these sort of tomato skins out and sear those in the wok so that they add more of that savoury base flavour. High heat all the way from here, really, really quick. You, what you want to do first is get your oil in, enough oil to sear well, and then we're going to get your onion in for about 20 seconds, and then your ginger and your garlic can go in with that. 
you want to stir fry that through and give it a couple of flicks through as that's searing my blanched green beans straight in the green beans on a really high heat building up some smoke around the the wok so that they almost get a bit of blistering around the edges of the beans themselves now you can see that we've got that blistered color around some of the beans give them a turn again and then just press into it one more time my tomato skins give that a flick through and those tomato skins will cook through nicely and release more of that savory natural MSG flavor okay now you can see those tomato skins sort of just wilting nicely into the wok at that point you want to pour some of that hoisin sauce. I'll probably use about half a mount. All around the edges of the green beans. Good couple of ladles at least. Keep it on a high heat, bring it to a vigorous boil. A couple of folds through and that dish is done. Green beans, you've got that lovely char around the edges. All that sauce poured over the top. So that's a bit of fun guys. A homemade hoisin with no actual hoisin nearby. Really interesting. Even with two whole mandarins in there, you can't really taste the orange juice. What I've done there is, with all the ingredients, try to get that perfect balance of sweet, sour, savory, all packed into the sauce. And I'd say that the balance is pretty good. When you guys are playing around and experimenting with food, you must have created some awesome dishes, but also possibly some really bad dishes. Don't get me wrong, I do that too. If you have, let us know in the comments below what your best and worst creations have been. And don't forget guys, if you want to learn more about balancing flavour, texture and colour, and you love Asian cuisine, subscribe to our channel, like everything to do with us, <laughs> like everything we do, comment, <laughs> and ding, hit the notification bell. <laughs>